Hello, welcome to Econ 1. My name is Tyler Pronte. I'm going to be the professor for the course. And the very first thing that I want to do before getting into any of the mechanics or talking about the syllabus or anything like that is say just a few words about what economics is all about, for one. And for two, uh, make a case that studying economics is important. All right, many people, when they first take an econ, an econ class, are expecting to be hearing about things related to finances, like investments and stocks and bonds and things related to money. Um, if not that, a lot of people have the expectation that you're going to be studying the overall economy, right? the lack of jobs or inflation or something like that. And so these are topics within economics, but that's not going to be the focus of this class. Um, instead, the focus of this class is going to be thinking about and studying choices that people make. Right? There's a fundamental problem in economics, right? this problem that our resources are scarce. We have this uh, scarcity issue. And so what that means is that all the different things that you encounter exist in a limited fashion. They're finite. Um, and so just trying to think about all the different stuff that you encounter in your everyday life, I think it's easy to point out that nearly everything is scarce, right? Your time is scarce, you have a limited amount of time, your money is scarce, um, businesses face scarce resources when they're making choices about who to hire or how much to produce, um, governments face scarce resources, right? So really, at the end of the day, economics is a study of how folks deal with this particular problem. We have these resources that are limited in, fact, in nature, and because they're limited, we need to make choices about how we're going to be using them. That's it. That's what we're going to be doing throughout the term. The reason why this is such an important thing to study is uh, because, of course, scarcity is all around you. Um, so much of human behavior can be explained by the tools of economics because, uh, again, just about everything that you encounter on Earth is subject to scarcity. And so that's one of the reasons why I like the discipline so much um, and why I hope is one of the reasons why you like studying economics as well. Um, all done with video number one. The next thing that you should do is proceed down to the welcome letter that you're going to see posted right underneath this. Adios.